Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dani and today we have rounds three and four of my Gems Goals game with a change in the rules. So I've only done round two, one and two of this game, which was January and February, uh, the wrap ups for those months, and I'm already changing the rules for them. And I'll explain why and how that's going to work. And if you have any suggestions on how to make this even better, please let me know because I'm we're we're doing as we're changing as we go here. We're just trying to figure out the best way to do everything. You'll understand. So if you're new on my channel, the goals of my goals game is to track if I'm being successful with the goals that I set for myself in the beginning of the year. But here's the thing. I'm scrapping the goals. I don't I don't want to I don't want to do them anymore. I don't care about the goals that I set for myself at the beginning of the year. I still want to read the books that I said I was going to read. I still want to read Act Decrecy. I still uh, want to read all the thrillers that I had on the list. Uh, what else? <laughs> the arcs, not galley arcs for sure. I want to get through them. And my last goal was the buzzword. I'm still trying to incorporate a buzzword book every month. So those are still some things that I want to do, like they're, I actively want to do them, but I don't want to make them stressful. I don't want to have them as things that I'm not accomplishing if I'm not doing them, because I'm still reading, I'm still having fun, and that's the point. So I think I'm going to change the name of the game, because it's not going to be a goals game anymore. And the thing that I want to track now, which I... It's always going to be a goal for myself is to read the books on my shelf. That's always going to be a goal. I just reorganized my shelf like last week and this whole shelf here is for unread books. Almost the whole shelf, so like four of the shelves plus my TBR cart. So we have a lot of unread books and I still want to read them. So those are still, are still going to be goals for me. Uh, a lot of them are the thrillers that I had on that list and just other things that I'm interested in. So that's my new goal. I'm setting that right now. I might do like a checking in on my goals in the middle of the year and just like scrapping all of that and setting up new goals for myself uh, for the rest of the year. But for now, I'm setting this here now in this video. I'm, those are not my goals anymore for the year. My goal is to read the books on my shelf. I still, I'm still going to read books from the library uh, audiobooks, especially from Scribd, so there's still that, but this is always going to be one of my goals. I'm buying these books, I'm getting these books as gifts from the publisher, wherever they're coming from. I still want to read them. So what should be the new name for the game? I don't want to say TBR game, because that's well, that would be very misleading, but bookshelf game? Something game. Let me know if you have any suggestions. I don't know what it, I'm calling this video even. But anyway, let's go back to the game. Uh, what I was doing before is every time I fulfilled a goal, I read a book that fulfilled one of my goals, I would get a gem from this bag and whatever color I got, it would go on these jars. So I have red, blue, green, and orange for each of the genres that I set in the jars. So that's still going to continue, but what I'm going to do, because I'm going to get a gem every time I read a book that is from my shelf, I'm going to get a lot more gems every month. So almost all the books that I read are from my shelf. So what I am going to do, instead of having only the gems here that mean something, I'm going to add a bunch of gems that don't mean anything. So I'm going to add purple gems, whatever. I what else I have here? Uh, yellow gems. Uh, there's like a greenish yellow thing. So well, all of the gems that are not one of the colors that I set, these are all the gems. Like, I bought a bag of gems on Amazon and it came with all of this. Well, two bags actually. It came with all of this plus the ones that I'm using. So this is all the extra ones that I haven't been using in the game. Uh, I'm not going to add more of these colors, so only the other colors. So just wrap up the rules of the, the new rules of the game because I always over explain things and make it more complicated than it should be. How does this game work? I'm going to give you a quick rapid fire 
wrap up for each of the books that I read in the month and every book that I read that came from my shelf, I'm going to grab a gem. If the gem is one of the scholars, it's going to go on the jar and whenever I, I get five gems of the same color, I'm going to buy a book. And I'm not going to buy any book now anymore, I'm going to make a list and you are going to vote for the book that I'm going to buy. So either like three to five books I'm going to tell you in the video and you're going to vote in the comments which book I should buy from the ones on the list. That's how it's going to work. I think it's a good plan. Let me know again if you have suggestions. But one thing that I am going to do because I want to start this fresh, I am going to get rid of all the gems that I had already collected on the jars, especially because the thriller one I already had three and I just did like an over 40 book haul not it was the last video that I posted so I bought thriller books so this can go but I'm going to get rid of all of them we're going to start fresh with empty jars okay so here's the plan I changed my bag since we're doing starting this game from scratch I changed this book sleeve because it's gorgeous and I just want to use it uh, and I have here all the 12 gems of each color plus 80 gems that are completely different colors, they are not going to mean anything, and also I have two clear gems. So before, the clear gems meant that you were going to vote for a book, but now because you're going to vote for each, any book that I get in the jars, the clear gem are going to mean something else. And I don't know if I should keep it a secret. Basically it's going to be a special vlog that I'm going to do. Let me know in the comments if you want to know what the vlog is, and I might tell you in the next one, unless we get this here, then I'll tell you. But anyway, we have a lot of gems here that don't mean anything, plus 12 of each color. I think five, getting five to buy a book might be a lot, but we'll see. We'll play by ear this time, because I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get five of one color. Probably it's going to take a lot of time. So three might be better, but again, we're, we'll play by ear, we'll see how it goes this time, because honestly, I don't have a lot of gems that I'm going to pick for this video. But that said, that was a long introduction, but I think it is it was important to just set up the new rules and explain why I'm changing it. Now we can start, so rapid fire, wrap up, mini reviews of all the books that I read in March and April, and... Then I'm going to get a gem for each book that was from my bookshelf. I'm going to talk about them in the order that I read. And the first book that I read in March was Full Metal Alchemist Volume 16. This is a very long manga series about two brothers who are alchemists, which means they can turn things into other things, and they're basically trying to save the world at this point. I can't spoil too much of what's going on in this book, but it's one of my favorite series of all time. And of course, this was from, from my shelf, so I got a gem for that. And I don't have a place to put the book, so I'm going to move this people here. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the first gem for the new revamped game, gems game, please help me with a new, a better name. It's going to be pink, which doesn't mean anything, but it's fine. We're just going to put it aside and go to the next book. So the next book I read was The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This was the buddy read on Discord for the month of whatever, March. Yes, that was it. And this is a book about a man who goes back to his hometown for a funeral and he starts remembering all these weird things that happened there when he was a child. Uh, he knew this neighbor who was a girl that sat at the lake by her house was an ocean and there was a lot of things so we go back and forth more on his childhood than his adult life and it's a very whimsical, magical, weird, Neil Gaiman-ish uh, book that I really really loved. Uh, I think it was a four stars I don't remember exactly, but I really enjoyed that. It was, like I said, very whimsical. And I really like those stories when you don't really know what's real and what's not. Like I, I really like when you're getting a child's perspective and then the adult doesn't know if that was just a child's imagination or not. 
more often than not, it, like, it really feels like it was not an imagination. And I really like those type of stories, which was this one. It's a very short book, so I definitely recommend it if this sounds interesting to you. And it was from my shelf, so I got a gem. Max gem is going to be... Pink again. Which doesn't mean anything. I'm thinking that we might have to do just three gems of each color to get a new book because this is going to take forever. The next book that I read was Lightning Thief, the Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, the first one in the Percy Jackson series uh, by Rick Riordan. If you haven't read this, it's a middle grade fantasy series about a boy who finds out he's the son of a Greek god and he goes to this camp Half-Blood where everyone is the son of a god and a human and it's a lot of fun. So he has to figure out what happened with this lightning from Zeus that was uh, stolen. It's just amazing. It was a reread for me. I read it when I was a teenager, preteen, kind of something. Uh, and I loved it then and I love it now. I think the characters that he wrote are so amazing and they have so much personality. And I love the humor of the book and I love uh, Percy's dialogue, and the way he talks and his humor. It's just exactly the type of book that I like, so I really loved Percy Jackson's series. Uh, however, this was an audiobook from my library, which does not get me a gem. Next, I read The Hawthorne uh, School by Sylvie Perry, which was an arc from Nat Gelly, and that does count, so I'm going to get a gem for that. So all the books that I have on Nat Gelly are listed on my spreadsheet as books that I own, because I own the book, I have to read the book, so arcs from Nat Gelly will count for the game. Uh, and this book well, is about a woman who takes his, her son to this new revolutionary type of school school that um, teaches the kids on the outside and it's all talking about like the forest schools from Scandinavia but the whole thing is very creepy and cult-like and it starts unravel, unraveling from there. The woman doesn't realize that what's happening Exactly, but we do, or at least I think it was very, very obvious, uh, everything that was happening, which was kind of why I didn't like about the book. I thought the woman was very naive, very... Just like, it was very clear what was happening, and it took her a long time, and then it was kind of too late for her to do something. So I did like some of the things that happened throughout the story, but most of it was just too obvious for me and not obvious enough for the characters and they were just not very smart. But I do get a jump for that. At least that. And it's pink again! Okay, so just so you know, I, the 80 new gems that I added here are all pink or purple. That's why I'm getting a lot of pinks. But pink doesn't mean anything, so we're get, going to get to the next book. And the next book I read was Words of Radiance by Brendan Sanderson. I should add like two gems for this book, honestly, but I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, I read Words of Radiance. This is the second book in the Stormlight Archive series, which is a series that have four, has four books right now. Uh, all of them are over a thousand pages. And it's a fantasy series about a lot of people. And I'm not going to tell you anything else. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. This is about, this it has a lot of magic. It's a complete... Uh, huge world that is amazing. If, you like, if you've read any Brendan Sanderson and you enjoyed it, I 100% recommend the Stormlight Archive series because it's very easy to read and you fly through a thousand pages really quickly. Although not a lot happens necessarily, but there's a lot of character work in the best way possible. I'm not such a character-driven reader, but this is just so easy to read and it flies very fast. And this book... This book broke my heart twice because I started it one time and then I put it aside and then I had to start again because I didn't remember anything. So it broke my heart again even though I knew what was going to happen. But it was a roller coaster of emotions. I love this so, so much. And I hated it at the same time for a long time, but just in the best way possible. I think it's very well written and I'm already reading Wolfbringer, the next one in the series. So yeah, this was a five stars completely. I loved it. And I do get a gem. Let's hope it's a color that matters. Oh my god, we got the clear gem! This is crazy, there are only two here in the middle of over a hundred. Over 200? No, a hundred. I don't even know. 
can't do that math, but I got a clear gem. Okay, so I have to tell you what the clear gem means. I was not expecting to do this right now, but okay. So the clear gem, what I decided for this turn, this round, if you have other suggestions, I'm always open to suggestions, but I think this is a very cool idea and I'm very excited to do this. So the clear gem is going to be a vlog with a book that I have never heard about before. I've done the, one of this before, which was for the book called Mickey 7. Did not go very well, but I do recommend you watch it because it was interesting, <laughs> I hope. But so I'm going to go to the bookstore or go online. And now I'm, this time I'm going to, to try to film this from the beginning, from when I'm picking the book. But I'm going to pick a book that I have never heard about before. Probably one of the genres that I like, uh, fantasy, sci-fi, or thriller, horror, mysteries, this sort of thing. I'm not going to pick a historical fiction. There are a lot of historical fiction that I have never heard about before, but I don't want to read them. Uh, so I'm going to pick a book that actually sounds interesting to me, but I have never heard of the author and have never heard of, of the book on booktube or anything. So that's all the clear gem means. And it means that I get a new book, maybe. Maybe I've just... I don't want to get an audiobook for that. But maybe I could get the ebook or something. We'll, we'll see. You'll see on the vlog. I'm very excited. This means a new video planned already decided for me, which is very exciting. I'm so happy for this one. I hope it goes better than the last vlog that I did about this, but it was a lot of fun, so I'm very excited for this. So do subscribe if you want to see a vlog of me reading a book that is completely unknown. After Words of Radiance, I listened to two audiobooks back to back, and they were an absolutely remarkable thing and a beautifully foolish endeavor by Han Green. This is a sci-fi duology about a woman who finds a big robot kind of statue thing uh, in the middle of New York and she films it with her friend and it goes viral. Uh, and then they find, find out that they're, all of the, the statues have appeared all over the world and things start going from there. It's a lot about how uh, this woman and her friends are dealing with this newfound fame, but also about the statues and what they are and what they do. Uh, I loved it. It gave me five stars. I thought his writing is amazing and it just, it made me just want to keep listening to the audiobook. It's a full cast, so I definitely recommend. I don't remember if the first one is full cast or just the second one, but the second one for sure is full cast. And the whole, the, the whole duology, it was a complete surprise to me because I just didn't, I, I thought it was going to be very like contemporary everyday life of this girl because everyone says that it focuses a lot on the fame thing. Uh, but it wasn't. It was it was a perfectly paced and perfectly balanced with the sci-fi things and her life and it was just amazing and very reflective inducing. I don't know what the best way to say this. Uh, it makes us reflect about a lot of things in a very easy way, not forced. I just loved it. I definitely recommend it. However, it does not fulfill my goal because it was not for my shelf. Then I read Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the second book in the trilogy, uh, the, uh, the Inheritance Games trilogy, which is about a girl who inherits, inherits this fortune from an old man that she has never heard about before, and she has to deal with all that money and his four handsome grandsons. I really love this series. It's a thriller mystery kind of thing uh, in which she's trying to figure out why that happened to her and a lot of other secrets that this old man left because he really liked puzzles and riddles and we're going with this her and the and the boys uh to figure out all these riddles and puzzles and it's just a lot of fun it's just very very entertaining just a fun time so I definitely recommend if anyone is just looking for a fun time and this was a physical book for my shelf so i got a gem for that and the next gem is going to be Purple, which doesn't mean anything. Then I listened to the audiobook of Night of the Mannequins by Stephen Graham Jones. This is a very short, I think, I don't know if it's a novella or even a short story, but it's a very short audiobook about a group of friends who grabbed this mannequin from a store or just like it was this discarded mannequin and it kind of comes to life. And I'm not going to say anything else because it's very short. It is a horror 
book, a horror story, uh, but with humorous tones, and I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it four stars, but it was just, again, just a lot of fun. It was very entertaining, and I really like how the humorous tone uh, was woven together with the horror, which made me buy his other books, like two of his other books, because I'm very curious to read them now, but it was a lot of fun, but not for my shelf, so I don't get a gem. And the last book I read in March, I, we're still in March, I read a lot in March, the last book that I read in March was Edge Dancer by Brendan Sanderson, this is the 2.5 uh, book in the Stormlight Archive, so after Words of Radiance, I read this one before I started Oathbringer, and this is a novella about one of the characters that is presented in Words of Radiance, and we're just going to see her story in this whole tiny book, and it's amazing. It's a character that I didn't care much for when she appeared on Words of Radiance. I really just didn't care about her because she was not one of the main characters that were that we were reading about, but by the end of this book, now she's one of my favorite characters in the entire series, and I care about her so much, and I want her to be safe and happy. And I get a gem because it's a book for my show. So the next gem is going to be... Red! Oh my god, I finally got a color that matters. So that's fantasy, I'm going to put it here, and... I think after one, two, three, four, five books getting, is that it? Six books. Yeah, because there was one arc. One arc. Uh, after six books getting only one gem that mattered, well, I got the clear gem, but only one gem that mattered. What happened here? Okay, <laughs> got it. It's safe to say that we should get only three gems for a new book because this is crazy. <laughs> Now let's talk about the books that I read in April. I think this is getting really long, so I'm going to try... I, I always say rapid fire and then I talk a lot about the book, so rapid fire, let's remember that. Next book was The Last House on Needless Street. This is a thriller about... I can't really say a lot, that's why I read it, because no one says a lot about this book, but we have three perspectives here. Uh, a man, a cat, and a girl, and then we have this other girl was trying to figure out what happened to her sister that disappeared a long time ago, and I really did not like this book one bit. I thought just the experience of reading it was tiring and exhausting, and I just didn't enjoy reading this book, but also I didn't like the review, I didn't like the perspectives, I don't think it was very well done, so I did not like this book a bit. But I do get a gem. And that is going to be purple. Doesn't mean anything. The next book that I read was The One by John Mars. This was on the thrillers that I wanted to read in the year, but it's not a book that I own, so I did not get a gem in the new rules of the game. Uh, but this is a sci-fi thriller about this company that figure out a way to match people's uh, DNA with the one, so like they match the person that you're supposed to be with uh, forever. And I had watched the TV show for that, I really enjoyed it, now I read the book. It's very different, there are some storylines that are similar, but still very different. We follow, I think, five different uh, couples or groups of people in this, and it was very entertaining, more than I expected, having already watched the, the TV show. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. I really liked the characters, some more, some less. All of the storylines, I feel like they were interesting at different points. So in the beginning I was more interested in one of them, in the middle I was more interested in another one. So it always kept me engaged and entertained throughout the whole book. So I really recommend it. But I do not get a gem for this one. Then I read The Unforgettable Logan Foster, which I don't have the, the dust jacket for it. I took some books out of the dust jacket and I will not try to find it right now. But this was an Outgrade Junior book, so it's a middle grade fantasy series about this boy who is adopted, who goes to a foster family, and his parents are superheroes. And that's pretty much what you would expect from a superhero story. It's just a lot of fun. All of the superheroes and how, like, they, he, the boy, he goes to the headquarters, kind of, like, where superheroes are and are controlled by, and everything that is happening in the world is just... Again, a lot of fun, very entertaining. I really enjoyed his voice, his humor, uh, the voice. It was a little bit 
tiring at some points because it's very repetitive, but it was very short, so I didn't get too tired. I was entertained until, like, I got to the end before I got tired of the way that he, sp he speaks. Uh, so, really like it. If you like middle grade, I would definitely recommend it. And I get a gem because it was from a bookshelf. And it is... Purple doesn't mean anything. Next, I read The Murder on the Links by Agatha Christie. Again, another one that is not from my shelf, so I don't get a gem. It was on my goals before, but it's fine. For the new rules, I don't get a gem for this one. But it is a mystery from Agatha Christie, her second book published, uh, the second uh, Hercule Poirot story, which is one of her detectives. And it is about this man who calls Hercule Poirot because he thinks someone is going to kill him. Uh, but before her, but, but yeah, before he got he gets there, the man is already dead. So Hercule Poirot tries to figure out what happened, and it's a lot of fun. I love Agatha Christie. It was I liked the first book more than this one, but it was still entertaining. It's still a lot of fun, and I still want to read all her books in order as I'm trying to do. But I don't get a gem. Have only three more books. The next one was Everblaze by. Shannon Messenger. This is the third book in the Keeper of the Lost City series. This is about a girl who finds out she's an elf and she goes to the elf world to go to school and it's very magical. There are a lot of magical creatures. She has magical classes, magical friends, and it's just a lot of fun. I'm giving five stars to all of these books. I'm just having the best time reading the series. I love it so, so much. I don't know why it took me so long to read it. I already have the fourth one, so I can't wait. I really hope I can read it soon because it's just a lot of fun. I love these characters so much. I love how dark it's getting but still in a middle grade way. So just a lot of fun. Definitely recommend if you like middle grade fantasy. For sure read the series. And I got a gem for that. And I think now I'm speaking too fast. <laughs> the next gem is going to be purple. Oh my god. Maybe I added too many gems that are not one of the generous. The next book that I read was an audiobook for Beach Read by Emily Henry, which is very unusual for me. Uh, this is a romance about a woman who goes to this beach house to try to write a book that she has to write. She's a romance writer and she meets her neighbor who doesn't really like romance books. Uh, he's very skeptical of romance books. Uh, and of course they fall in love and everything is great at the end because it's a romance book. Uh, I thought it was fine. I thought it, it was... it had a lot of things that would make me like it as much as it was a romance book and I wanted to, to read, listen to this one because I've heard amazing things about it and I've heard that it, it is one that a lot of people like even if they don't read romance a lot and I liked it but it was fine. I don't get as engaged and as curious about what's going to happen in a romance book because I know what is going to happen uh, most of the times, not how it's going to happen. I, I understand, but it's just not my type of book. But I'm trying, I'm listening to some romance here and there to see if I find one. I, I like the idea. I always feel like it's a good escapism type of book. But in the end, I'm just like, okay, this was... This was fun, I'm going to forget about it in one week. And that's kind of what happened with this one, so I'm not the person who would be able to recommend this book to you or not, because I don't read romance enough to say that, but it was fine. It was okay. And I don't get a gem, because it was an audiobook from my library. And the last book from for this game, for this wrap-up from April, was... Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. This is a thriller about... I forgot already. Oh yeah, this couple goes on a trip to Scotland, to the Highlands uh, in Scotland, and some weird, creepy stuff, stuff start happening. So we see both of their perspectives, the woman and the, from the couple, the, the, the man and the wife, and we start to uncover a lot of secrets that both of them kept hidden from each other. And again, it was okay. I didn't like the ending. I already forgot how I felt about this book, honestly, so not a great review for it if I already forgot. But I, I think it was okay. I read it very quickly, so it kept me turning the page. 
but it was not a memorable thriller for me. But I do get a gem, and it is going to be the last gem for this video, so hopefully it's a color, not one of the non-colors. Blue! Awesome! Okay, so we have one gem in fantasy, one gem in sci-fi, and we're definitely doing three, <laughs> so it's going to be three gems for me to get a book, and that you're going to vote on which book is going to be, but we did get a clear gem. So hopefully very, very soon we're going to buy a book that I have never heard about before and read it and vlog it and I hope you're going to enjoy that. So again, subscribe so you don't miss that. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this. Remember to like and subscribe and thank you so much for joining me. Bye!